Tanner, how are you? Really, how are you, Andy? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Um, I just wanted to, to get a sense, I mean, where you are with, with Mike Sanford, your new quarterback coach and offensive coordinator. How would you describe the, the, the practices that you guys have had and the, and the chemistry you're trying to establish? Yeah, uh, of course. Well, you know, we have a great relationship. And um, for us and our standard, our standard's very high as a program. And uh, as an offensive unit, our standard's very high for ourselves, too. So, you know, that's what we're, we're talking all about. We're, you know, we're all about 70%. Um, taking care of the ball and, and how we do things. Um, so I think Coach Sanford's, you know, obviously been a great addition, been an elite addition uh, to our program here. And, you know, we have a great relationship. And uh, him and Coach Simon work really well together too. So uh, it's really fun to see. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Daniel House, Gophers Guru. Hey, Tanner, do you think it was possibly beneficial for all of you to have a little bit more classroom time this spring? Is it helping you guys execute and think less? I mean, yeah, we had way more meeting time than we ever would have had. So it's definitely a benefit the way you look at it um, that way because you know, we met about things we would have never had the time to meet about. So it's definitely an advantage um, in that sense for sure. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Joe Schmidt, KSTP. And Tanner, I'm wondering if if by now, considering you've got your top receivers back, if, if you have that at six fence, you know, that kind of Peyton Manning used to be able to just kind of look at a guy and he'd know what to do. Have you been able to develop that just through repetition and getting to know your guys better? Yeah. Uh, like you said, it comes through repetition. So we have, we've created a lot of reps uh, with our guys on the outside and, and our guys in the backfield too, to where uh, we have a great chemistry of, uh, you know, first and foremost, executing the play called and then finding ways to get open. Our guys do a great job of you know, expressing themselves to get open. And uh, for sure, through, through the reps that we've had, we've definitely been able to create uh, even better chemistry um, and be able to be on the same page. Thank you, Tanner. Uh, Randy Johnson, um, Star Tribune. Yeah, hi, Tanner. Um, where do you feel you've improved the most in the offseason with, with the extra time uh, to de develop? Mm. Uh, that's a great question. I would say, you know, probably just fundamentals. Uh, doing the little things right, uh, I think I've, I've taken a step there. And uh, that's something that we've preached to our entire team of, you know, the little things and the fundamentals. And I think that's something that, uh, yeah, that I've gotten better at over this offseason. What did Dave, uh, Dave Campbell? Hey, Tanner, um, you know, with all the guys you lost on defense um, to graduation or the NFL, um, you know, the bulk of the experience now is going to be on the offensive side of the ball. Do you, do you think that changes, you know, the group's responsibility, um, any, anything like that? I mean, do you guys sort of collectively feel um, any heightened sense of um, you know, burden to, uh, for the team this year? No, I, I wouldn't say that. It's, you know, we're, we're a collective unit, offense, defense, special teams, special teams in all three phases. So, um, you know, yeah, yeah, we lost some guys uh, on the defensive side of the ball, but we feel very good about you know, the guys who are, you know, stepping up and getting opportunities. So yeah, it's not, you know, like a burden or anything like that. We're, we're excited to see our defense play ball just as, uh, just as they're excited to see us play. Cause you know, we've gone against each other for a long time now. And uh, you know, we're excited to see, I'm excited to see our defense play somebody other, other than our offense for sure. Let's go to Blake with the daily gopher. Hey Tanner, the tight ends are kind of the unsung heroes of the offense last year. And it sounds mm -hmm. like they may have a bigger role this year, especially in the passing game. How critical is that group to your success on offense? They're absolutely vital. Uh, there's no other way to put it. Um, you know, being a tight end is a, is a gritty job. You know, and we got a bunch of guys in our tight end room that are full of grit, the full how, you know, the way they do things. And, um, you know, they, they're, they're versatile. Um, they're versatile athletes. And they're absolutely critical to what we do. And, you know, they're extremely well coached through Coach Patterson. And, um, yeah, we're, we're very grateful to have the tight end room that we do. Back to Andy Greeter. Tanner, a few uh, Zoom calls ago, you mentioned football school with, with Mike Sanford. Was that just a, a, a turn of phrase or was that an actual thing that you guys tried to do in the offseason? Yeah, no, I mean, through the quarantine, we were on Zoom, you know, four days, four or five days a week for for as long as, uh, you know, the Big Ten and, and the NCAA would, would allow us to be. And, you know, we were breaking down stuff that we wouldn't, you know, going deeper uh, way deeper than we would have ever uh, gotten in a, in a traditional, you know, springtime year. 
you know, with spring ball and things like that and coaches being out recruiting. So, you know, we were able to dive deeper in, into certain things and, you know, gain more knowledge. And, uh, you know, coach obviously did a great job with that. And, you know, our, our players, and this it wasn't just the quarterback room where, you know, our entire uh, team was finding ways to get better um, through Zoom. So that was obviously something that was very critical that our coaches were able to do for us. And let's go back to Joe Schmidt. Yeah, Tanner, last year you had the advantage of having some preseason games and the team really developed in those games. You won a couple in the last second. Uh, this time you jump right into the deep mm -hmm. end of the water. Um, a, uh, how much are you going to miss not having those warm-up games? And B, does your experience give you guys a unique advantage uh, because of that? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously it's a different year. You know, we're going right into Big Ten play, but uh, there's an excitement in that. You know, we're going right into playing an extremely talented, extremely well-coached uh, football team in, you know, in Michigan. And, you know, again, there was uncertainty if we were going to even be able to play. We were all at home for months. You know, we weren't even able to be around each other. And so to start the year off, um, you know, to, to be able to play football is something that we're very grateful for. Um, and to be able to play an extremely uh, talented team week one is definitely something that we're looking forward to because – um, it's the opportunity, and that's all that we're focused on. All right, let's go to um, Nadine with Gopher Hole. All right, let's go back to Andy Greeter. Well, PJ yesterday mentioned how there potentially will be moving pieces uh, on offense given COVID. What's going to be key for you as, as a leader to try to make everyone on the same page when there are moving pieces and somebody might not be as – experience as the guy they're replacing mm -hmm. yeah for sure I mean it, it comes down to trust and uh, our team definitely trust each other and uh, we trust each other through the things that we've done uh, through the repetitions that we've gotten in practice and through the preparation so preparation is obviously very critical and that's something that we don't take very lightly um, and that our team and our offense for sure will be uh, doing at, at the highest level and you know uh, up to our standards so we have to prepare um, and again, it's 2020, you never know what could happen. You could go from being a scout team guy to, you know, you're a starter. So uh, that's a critical th message to, to echo is that everybody has to be ready and everybody's role is, in, is incredibly important uh, in this season. Uh, Daniel House, I think you had another one, right? Yes. How difficult is it to read a Don Brown defense that likes to mix things up and be pretty aggressive? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of respect for Coach Don Brown and, and for the defenses that he has, the defense that he that he has right now. Um, you know, they're very aggressive and uh, very, very, very well coached. So, you know, we're excited to get an opportunity to go against a very to go against a very well coached defense. You know, they do a lot of things very well. Um, and like you said, uh, they're aggressive in what they do, and what they do, they're going full speed at it. So, we're excited to get an opportunity to play against them. Uh, we'll take one more, uh, Dave Campbell. I was just wondering about playing Michigan for the Little Brown Jug. Um, since you don't play them every year, uh, a lot of guys in this roster have never played them. Mm -hmm. You know, how much of a thing is that this week uh, for you guys? Obviously, being the season opener is probably the most important part. Yeah, you know, it's something that, that goes apart with uh, playing at the University of Minnesota. You know, we play, play in four rivalry games that are very important, and it's something that's cool about and, and unique. Uh, and that's something that we embrace, uh, the rivalry games for sure. And this being one with the Little Brown Jug. So, you know, obviously the Little Brown Jug is important um, with the history that it has, the incredible history tied into the trophy and tied into the game. So, you know, anytime you get an opportunity to play for something like that, um, you know, we cherish it. And that's something that's so great about playing in the Big Ten with the traditional classic, you know, trophy, trophy games that have so much history. Um, so we're, we're definitely excited to be able – uh, to have that aspect uh, in this game and to be able to play for the Little Brown Jug. All right. Thank you, Tanner. Um, if everyone would just give me about 90 seconds, um, we'll have Mohammed Ibrahim up here momentarily. Tanner, you can, you can leave it like that. You're, you're good. So give me about 90 seconds. We'll have Mohammed up here.
All right, looks like we have uh, Mohammed Ibrahim with us now. Uh, go ahead again, send me a message in chat. We'll jump into questions for Mo. All right, Andy Greeter, go ahead. Mo, oh, how are you? How you doing? Good. So thanks for taking the time. Um, I just wanted to ask you about, about Tanner. Uh, obviously, he's had experience in this uh, offense before. What have you seen from him this year going into, you know, a second full year uh, as the starter? Uh, I've seen him grow with, with his leadership. Uh, he's reaching out to more people. Uh, he's connecting with more people. Um, I, you can see it throughout the whole quarantine time we had at home. Uh, we'll have a call and then he'll call another meeting afterwards just to uh, clear up some details and stuff like that. So I've seen him, I've seen him grow with his leadership. Uh, when we come back, um, he's calling team meetings. He's making sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, Tanner just grew as a leader throughout this whole quarantine. Uh, and he really took control of this whole team. Thank you, Mo. Uh, thank you, Andy. Go ahead, uh, Daniel House. Hey, Mo, if you had to describe Mike Sanford Jr.'s personality to someone who doesn't know him, what would you say? Uh, <laughs> so he's energetic. Uh, you can see that uh, he's running with us. He's uh, playing with us, joking with us. Uh, he's one of us, basically. Uh, he got a, a, a young personality, and he connects very well with his players. Let's go to Nadine uh, with Gopher Hole. Hey Mo, just wondering how you guys reacted to getting game day this year and how you prepared differently than you would other games. Um, having game day here is pretty fun. Um, knowing that you're going to be on the big screen and everybody's going to be watching and tuning in, but it don't really change much with us. Uh, we worried day by day. We're worried about now. Uh, that's all we can control. Um, and that's basically it, but it don't change much. Uh, but it is fun knowing that you are on the big screen and everybody's talking about the game coming up. Let's go to Blake with the Daily Gopher. Hey, Mo. So you went from the lead back in 2018 to kind of taking a backseat to Rodney Smith in 2019. What have you? What did you learn last year being behind Rodney Smith and Shannon Brooks that you can apply this year being the, the primary back on the offense? Um, understanding that you need everybody in that room. Uh, I went from backing up Rodney my freshman year and then him getting hurt and knowing that I got to step up and then last year, uh, having me, Shannon, and Rodney back there, knowing that knowing that we all had great years last year. So coming to this year, I understand that everybody in that room is going to be important. So my leadership to them, understanding that uh, at any play that anybody can get in. So I got to teach those young guys that uh, don't take the day off, don't take this year off because you don't think you're going to play. It's COVID-19, COVID my bad. So you never know what's going to happen. You can step in. Even if you're on scout team, you can still step in. So. That's basically what I learned from my last two years. Joe Schmidt, KSTP. Yeah, Mo, I'm wondering if uh, if you're proud of the way uh, you and this team handled, uh, you know, sitting out those couple of months and then seeing other college teams starting to play and you're having no idea. Now you get to play. But uh, when you look back at it, did you guys handle that uh, well? I think we handled it great. Um, when they first put out the schedule saying that we was going to start in September, we was happy. Um, and then they shut us down and said that, you know, we might not play until spring, but we took full advantage of it, still practicing, practicing hard, uh, not knowing that we was going to get an extra season uh, this this October. So I feel like we did a pretty good job with just taking it day by day, focusing on what we can control. And uh, we got the results that we want, and now we're ready to play football. And let's go to Dave Campbell, Associate Press. Hey, Mohammed, um, just wondering, you know, you lost Tyler Johnson, um, but overall as an offense, how do you think you, you can and, you know, will be better uh, in 2020? Um, so, yeah, we lost Tyler Johnson. We lost uh, Rodney Smith and Shannon. Uh, those are some key parts of our offense. Uh, but we, we, I think we recruited very well. Um, we have some guys that can replace those uh, talents. Uh, they just got to grow up very fast. Um, because those were big parts of our offense. Uh, Randy Johnson, Star Tribune. Hi, Mo. Uh, what's your impression of the Michigan defense and the challenges they, that you'll face against them? Uh, they're very aggressive. They switch up their looks. Um, so you have to, you know, take every play for what it is. You can't just think that, uh, you know, if they start off a series one way, they won't finish it a different way. So every play is his own individual play. 
and you just got to break it down how it comes. Uh, let's go to Andy Greeter, Pioneer Press. Oh, I wanted your uh, impression on the HERE campaign, and I know that you had a, a first meeting about that, I think, yesterday. Uh, what are you taking away from, from that effort? Uh, it's very important just to educate yourself. Uh, we, you know, you, you learn certain things growing up uh, and just having a, a new perspective on it and learning out the true stories that, you know, you probably didn't learn in elementary school. They didn't tell you the full story. So understanding that uh, it, it was more into it and it's not just what meets the eye. And that's very important. So, uh, Blake, Daily Gopher. Well, how much does it help you having the uh, pretty much the entire starting offensive line from last year back? Is there a trust in chemistry there? Uh, yes, it is. I know exactly what to expect from everybody up front, especially the uh, everybody up front and the tight ends. So, uh, and then this whole quarantine, we was working together, getting uh, solo time with them, uh, talking about what we're thinking, uh, why we're thinking it, and now everybody's on the same page, and they know what what I'm reading, my progression, and stuff like that. So. Uh, I think that this whole quarantine actually helped us out very uh, a lot because that's something that we wouldn't have done if we was still on campus. All right, looks like that's uh, all the questions we have. So thank you everyone for joining us and thank you, Mo. Thank you.